is Xenoblade Chronicles 4, 5, I'm pretty sure this is 5. But anyway, in the previous episode, we have learned that the Mechon have attacked Klein Knight. Now, as you can see here, I've switched right into the lead, and it'll be pretty useful. Now, let's do this. Geronimo! Also, we can't skip travel. Especially in times like this. You can't skip travel in times like this. So, let's just jump. And you'll get the achievement for make, making waves from jumping from a great distance. Now, why am I switched right into the lead? Well, there is a reason why I switched right into the lead, and that involves the battle AI. And I don't know if I've expressed this before because it's been so long since I recorded Xenoblade, but it's all because of the AI's ability to use one of Ryan's most important moves. Well, it's not really important moves, but it's one of the moves that I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure will remain on grind, guaranteed. So, right now, if you haven't no, if you, so previous episode, Mech on attack, we attack, but before, prior to that, we were we were kind of warned by um um some machines or something. Regardless of what time of day it is, it, I think it will always look like this. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Let's watch the cutscene. And hopefully I don't press A if it's one of those kind of cutscenes. Where's Dunban? He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. What? 
He ain't fit enough to face these things. Right, let's get to the lab. The lab? Of course. The Monado's there. Exactly. The Monado can take out Mechon. Alright, so now we're gonna run to the, straight to the lab and we skip travel is this the uh, I think I'll soak it for mine. Now, like it's saying, running away is fine. And all you have to do is so in the battle palette, all you have to do is like just look at the what you can go down. But since we're not in the actual battle, that icon does not exist at all. Now if you want you can go upstairs. But this mech on's too big, so heh, <laughs> you're too slow. Alright, we're gonna run to the central plaza and see what happens next. Wait. Oh, alright, there's a cutscene. I remember what this cutscene's about. You blasted mechon! You think you can do what you want in our colony? The colonel! The guys! <laughs> Men! Don't give up this position! Yes, yes, up! Run and I'll kill you myself! Tell me we're good. Okay. To destroy every last one of those damn mechon. Hey. All right, sorry for the cut or something. Now we got to go back to the residential district or around there. There's an what? event that's going to be triggered. Now. Nice one, 
And as, as much as I want to beat up these Mecha because I have the Monado with me, that ain't gonna happen because we gotta rush to Fiora and hope that she'll be alright. Don't notice me, please don't notice me. Also, one time when I was playing this game, I got stuck behind a box of crates and I couldn't escape. So, I was trapped by one of those big, big mech on, like that, like that, that one, that, that really big one that was chasing us earlier. And I got stuck, so I had to be it up. Katana in the first place. All right, we are definitely cleaning the party. I want to, I want to be Shulk Wielder the Monado. And first of all, I'd like to ask, how the heck did Dunman get the katana with him? And if so, did he just run to his house or did he have it with him the whole time? I'm just confused because I've never seen the katana with him. I mean, I understand it's a video game, but still. So anyway, Shulk's talent has changed with Activate Monado, and Activate Monado allows him to do Monado arts. Now, he has access to both regular arts and Monado arts, unlike Dunban, right? So Monado arts are particularly effective against Mechon. Fight battles efficiently through, the, through judicious use of normal arts and Monado arts. Now, you know, it, 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 it still retains the first two, first two, the two Monado arts that was on Dunman, so Monado Enchant, powering up your allies and allowing them to damage Mechon, and Monado Buster deals major damage to the enemy. Now, it's... Alright, I'm gonna use Enchant here. I wonder, what level do you, the 
I wonder what level the developers are thinking we be at by now. We can definitely do that. Oh, there's no point in it. Alright, let's run all the way to the residential district and don't go fast.
so just like other Metcon, you are gonna have to break, you have to be able to inflict topple to to actually deal damage. Now, since it's a large me monster or enemy, it is almost it is almost always possible if it is done in a chain attack. So use your chain attack to inflict break. Right? Let's do this. Alright, done, man. Here's all of your art. Let's use Steel Strike. Steel strike. Right now. Extend yeah. that topple right and fly down. That's an example of topple locking, except no we don't strength. have a day's art. <laughs> you know who it is. Monado, lend us your power! Monado Buster! Poor God, man, the fortification of Annie ended. Nicely done. We are at one with the The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I've forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. <laughs> You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Leonardo, he's the strongest person I know. same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. 
No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumbad. Shulk. Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> she wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiora gave you. And treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's <laughs> one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk, they attacked our colony. Kill Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it. That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting. Make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go, then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Eagly. Ow!